about Kevin Costner and the catcher position. Feel the ah. dreams. So this one's a little different. It's it based is. off a book. You know, a lot of these movies are not. Um, a, a very good, entertaining book if you've ever read. That's actually a book uh, I have not read, but I will a... read very quickly. Okay. So the book is very good, uh, very entertaining, and the movie does a fantastic job of bringing good. it to the big screen. Uh, James Earl Jones is of course is James Earl Jones, man. I mean, what are you going to do? <laughs> what are you going to say? Uh, again, Kevin Costner in a baseball movie. Um, that has a little bit of a country twang to it. He just kind of fits both Very those well. bills really well. Um, I, you know, uh, for, oh god, I'm blanking on the actress name that plays his she wife. Is She's fantastic. fantastic. Um, and then you know you got Ray Liotta playing Shoeless Joe, and the uh, you know litany of players that come through the, the cornfield mm-hmm. to play. The it story's is. great. Uh, the Moonlight Graham stuff touches me yes. more than anything. Yes. In that movie, uh, you know, the older version of him mm-hmm. is fantastic, and the kid's good, too, that plays the younger version. Uh, but I, I particularly love that part of the story. All the, the mysticism, and you know, and the if you build it, he will come, and all that. And then for it to end with, they're not talking about Shoeless Joe. And they're talking about Kevin right. Costner's dad. Right. Nice. Well done. Well played. Tearjerker. Good movie. Uh, you want to have very a very good movie, right? What's yeah. it rated? It is rated seven point five. So this is the one of the top okay. two or three highest on the list. So I know, for whatever reason, Field of Dreams tends to get a little bit of flack for not being a good baseball movie. I've heard it said, okay. Mm-hmm. When you combine baseball history with struggling farmer and how's he going to save his farm, and then you add the additional twist of this is all so that he could have a catch with his dad. What boy doesn't want to have a catch with his dad, mm-hmm. right? To only rate it a mm-hmm. 7.5, I don't care about the cinematography, which I thought it was still a very good movie. I think the storyline is fantastic. I naturally love the Black Sox players being the first ones introduced, right? Because we talked about my affinity for the Black Sox last week. I love the fact that they, uh, you know, they even brought Ty Cobb into it, right? We couldn't stand that bastard when he was alive, so we weren't going to invite him now, right? <laughs> so, I mean, that, those yeah. are like just those great, like, little bitty, like, inputs of, like, Information, of course, James Earl Jones. The acting is mm-hmm. fantastic. This is even at a seven point five, an underrated movie. My wife had never seen this, had never seen this until we were mm-hmm. married, and I showed it to her, and she was like, "Yeah, I missed out. That was a great movie, and it is. It is. I love that movie. I could watch it. I mean, she didn't miss out. She got to see it eventually. As long as you've seen, as long as you've seen it eventually, like you, like you didn't see it in the theaters. I didn't see it in the theaters." So we all saw it the same way after that. It was on a right. TV in our house or in someone's house. So, you know, she was just a little, a little bit late, late to the party. It happens. I educated um, her. I understand because when you brought it up, I was I was honestly sitting there thinking, like, I was like, is Field of Dreams a baseball movie? It's a movie For about sure. baseball. But that does that automatically make it a baseball movie? To me, it falls under the same argument of whether or not you believe Die Hard is a Christmas oh, movie. Oh, come on. I personally believe Die Hard I mean, is a Christmas movie. I believe Feel the Dreams yes, is a baseball it movie. It is. I mean, the, the, the whole... You're not getting a season of baseball. You're not following mm-hmm. a team. It's not like the Bad News Bears or something like that in that way. And it's not like the natural in that way. It's its its own different you know style. But it's mostly about baseball. A lot about family as well. And it's the love of baseball more than anything right. in this movie. You know, from the players who played on the field... To you know, to Kevin Costner, to his dad, to James Earl Jones' character, it's a you know to Moonlight. Obviously, it's a, it's about it a is. love of baseball. So, is it underrated or overrated for you, or perfectly rated? I honestly, yeah, that's if it's underrated, it's sure. a tiny bit underrated for me. I'm not going to go more than a 7.6, so I'm splitting hairs there, so I'm going to say it's perfectly okay. rated for me. I would go to a 7.778. So I think it's underrated. 